Hi, I'm Dave Utso. In our AIX system administration module, we'll learn a little bit about what this person does. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please visit us at gogo.com and use the question comment box. Topics we're going to talk about in this module is switching to another user. We log in as ourselves, switch to another user. How to monitor disk space or free space. The tar command, not used only by the system's administrator. Everyone uses tar. Using it and a lab exercise. The system's administrator, better known as root. His login account is called root, and he has a password as well. So he's just another user on the system. He's responsible for installing the system. So when you come back to our systems administration class, one of the first questions is, what are you going to use the system for? That gives us a lot of information on how this system should be installed. What are you going to use it for? Helping users. What could a user possibly do to drive everybody else crazy? One of the systems administrator's first question when helping that user is, what shell are you using? You saw throughout this course that we have different shells in AIX and in Unix. But uh, changing shells has a major effect on how things work. Applying upgrades. I suggest you reboot the system once a year um, to apply upgrades. But I've had people that say, I haven't booted the system in five or six years. So it depends. What are you going to use the system for? Keeping the system available. Keeping it up. Um, Get rid of unwanted files, maybe some cron jobs and things to keep this system running all the time. Running scheduled jobs, we learned about cron. That's where we put our, in our system backup, system cleanup. So he's a, a big user of cron jobs. Monitoring the system resources. Do I have enough disk space? Do I have enough memory? Uh, do I have enough resources to keep this thing running? And he's also responsible for system backups. In the highly unlikely event, something goes awry, we need to do a recovery. So this is kind of his job description of what this person known as Root does. Many companies share this responsibility. And I suggest that there's a, a journal that you put together in Root's home directory, especially if you share root responsibility, so you can tell the other person what you did, because it could uh, have a major effect on how things happen. Commands associated with this, some, very few of many, many commands that you're going to see, is the SU command. It stands for substitute user, and if I don't specify who that user is, Unix assumes root. So no, it does not mean super user, it means substitute user. So I could switch to somebody else as well. DF is for disk free. I could display how much free space is left. We partition our disks for several different reasons. Uh, partly for backups. The largest thing we normally back up is what we call a file system and also referred to as a disk partition. TAR combines many files into one. So you're going to hear the term tar file. You'll download tar files off the internet, but it combines many files into one. The systems administrator has other utilities he uses to back up the system, so everyone uses tar. Netstat is used to monitor the network, not unique to Unix. You'll see that in Microsoft as well. Ping, Packet Internet Groper, used to check connectivity in the network, not unique to systems administration either. Anybody can run the ping command. ARP, address resolution protocol, used to display recently contacted hosts in their internet and um, uh, interfaces and so forth. So monitoring tool for network. IF config used to display or change an IP address. 
and Microsoft they call it IP config, but very similar in Unix it's IF config. To switch to another user, we use the SU command. The minus says, take me to that person's home directory and execute his profile. Without the minus sign, it leaves you in the current directory and does not take on that person's environment, so it does not execute his profile. If I don't specify a person, it assumes root. So I would say I use SU space minus a lot. I log in as myself, switch to root, do what I have to do, and exit. Being logged in as root is dangerous. Displaying free disk, play, disk space. Disk free minus K will display in kilobytes. Tar. Combines many files into one. Very old and antiquated. Originally written for tape, but still around. So we have the options. Lots and lots of options to the tar command. The most popular are CT and X. C creates an archive. So I like to see is create. T, table of contents, or show me what's on that tar file. And X is used to extract the tar file, or recover. So you can use tar. Uh, systems administrator uses it as well. But it's a type of backup. Here's an example of how the author used tar. He went to Pat's home directory, and he did a tar create verbose, and then its output file. An unwritten rule in Unix syntax is if the option returns, refers to a file, the option and file must be next to each other. Tar is very old and antiquated, so we always use here. Dot means current directory or here in this context because you can only recover back to its original location. So if I back up here, I can recover to here. So the author here created a tar file on a floppy. He used dev fd0, which happens to be our floppy drive. This could have been a flash drive. It could have been, uh, if I specify nothing here, it would assume the default tape drive. The author here did a tar minus tvf to see what files are included on this floppy, what are included in this tar file. So I call it table of contents. And then lastly, he changed to the temp directory, and he did a tar minus x as an extract. Notice you don't get a choice of where to extract to. It always extracts back to its original location. So if we back up here, we can recover to here. So in this case, it's going to recover to the temp folder. So tar is very old and antiquated, not going away. Tar does not do compression by default. There are some variations of tar that do with some options. But by default, no. It just combines many files into one. A quiz. What command will let you temporarily become root? SU, root, log in, or admin. What command is used to list free space, free disk space? What command would a user use to back up his home directory to tape? What are three of many commands used to monitor the system? Some solutions. What command will let you become root? SU. All by itself assumes you want to switch to root. It requires a password that you know root's password. So you type in SU or SU minus. It asks for root's password. Type in who am I? One word, you'll see it's root. The most important person on the system. What command is used to list free disk space? DF or DF minus K. In some Unixes, there's even more options, but DF, disk free. There's also DU for disk used. 
What command would a user use to back up his home directory to tape? TAR stands for Tape Archive and Retrieval. So anyone can use TAR. What are three of many commands used to monitor the system? Netstat, PS, IOSTAT, DF, DU, IFconfig. TOP is a glorified PS command. Interactive. You could actually kill processes from here, change priority. Uh, user, users. So there's many, many commands that the systems administrator uses to monitor the system. Lab exercise at your leisure on your system. Become root. Hopefully you have authority to do that. Edit the hosts file. Uh, VI, Etsy host, by adding the system in, in our network. Use the ping and ARP commands to verify the changes. So we're going to see if you can add another computer to your hosts file. So you can use name or number. We also early on in this course mentioned there's man pages on system configuration files. What I'd like you to do also is see if there's a man page on hosts and you'll see the layout of the hosts file. But use the ping and ARP commands. You may have seen that before. Use several commands that monitor the system and view the results. Try the top command, try the PS command, but try different commands that you might see to monitor the system. If you have any questions or comments, please use the comment box online. Thanks for joining us.